Hi guys, this is Andrew from PRDB Entertainment. Today I'm going to show you guys on this tutorial how we can add the aim animation and the crouch animation on the state machine so you can use them with your keys or your mouse on the game or with anything else that you set up. Okay, so if you're new on this video, first of all, get some papers and a pen because you need to write down everything. And if you can, go to a previous video before this one that I made that starts to explain how to work with the state machines, blueprints, animations, and also with the blend space and stuff like that okay so first of all let's go to our character here we need to create uh, we need to tell the engine that every time we press the right mouse button here we're going to do an event so let's get the event first right mouse button okay we need to create a variable there's gonna be a boolean this one's gonna be named aiming I'm gonna press enter we're gonna press compile so we can get the values here and now let's set up the aiming here two times let's put the aiming public so we can get it later on the animation blueprints now the press is going to be on connected to one and the release is going to be connected to the other one now on the press we need to check this box to tell that it's true and this one just leave it unchecked so we can say that it's false when you release it okay compile once again now, let's go to our animation blueprint for our character. Uh, here it is. Swap underscore anim underscore bp. Now here on the state, let's go back here to the state. We need to go first to the event grab. Same as here, we got variables that will tell how we will run uh, when or when will the animations run. Okay, we need to create on our tab of my blueprint here, we need to create a variable, it's going to be a boolean, and this one is going to be, it's going to be named person is, is aiming, person is aiming, yes, okay, so let's compile here, and on the last part of the event graph here where we have the speed variable, Let's just cast from here to the player, the third person character, cast to third person character. Now on the object, we're going to type get player character because we want to search for his variables. And we're going to type here get aiming. That is the variable that we have on our character that we just created a couple of minutes ago, a couple of seconds ago. Okay, and from here we're going to drag the variable that we just created, person is aiming on our blueprint animation, because with this one we will tell the animation blueprint if it's aiming or not. So let's put it on set, let's connect it with the end of the cast, and let's connect the aiming with the person is aiming. These two variables need to be connected because he will tell, uh, this variable will tell what is that? Well, let's say it like this. This variable is going to be equal to this one. So if this one is saying that it's pressed down, this one will be the same. And if it's not pressed down, then this one will have the same result. Okay? So on the event graph, we don't need to do nothing else. We need to go to our state machines here, and we need to add a new state machine. A new state, my bad, state machine. It's going to be aiming. And from here, same thing as we did with the other ones, we need to tell them to get the player, the person, 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 his aiming variable from the animation blueprint. And if it's equal, then he will enter into the transition. He will play the animation. Okay, so now let's put the animation here on the state. Let's go to our asset browser. It's gonna be idle aiming. Let's connect it to the final animation post. We don't need to do nothing here else. Now let's connect it back to the idle. Why we need to connect it back? Because as soon as you release the, the key, if it's not equal, let's say that you release the mouse button so it doesn't aim, he has to go to another animation. And this is the part where we're going to be telling him that. So here we need to get our person is aiming variable, but this time we need to tell him that if it's not equal, it has to be checked because remember, if it's not equal, 
then it's true, then he can play the animation. Now let's compile, let's go to the game and let's see if he aims. Yep, there we go. So now see he's aiming. Now you can do the same steps for a first person shooter. It's the same steps. It doesn't matter if it's if it's a third person character or a first person character you have to do the same steps okay so now let's add the crouch for the crouch let's go back to our character blueprint character and now let's uh for crouch i'm gonna use the uh, control key control key right control key there we go and i'm gonna create a new variable it's gonna be Crouching, crouching. I'm gonna compile so I can get the values. And now I'm gonna put this on public, and I'm gonna set it as same, as same as we did with the aiming variable. Here we go. This one's gonna be true. And for the release, it's gonna be false. Okay. Compile. So here we don't have to do nothing else. We need to go back to our animation blueprint. And from here, let's add the state for crouch. Crouching. There we go. So let's tell him to. Uh, oh, we need to create another variable here. It's going to be for the crouch. Also, person is crouching. Put crouching, it sounds weird. Okay. Enter. Compile. And from here, we're going to be telling to get the person is crouching. So if it's equal, then okay. Then you can activate the animation. You can enter into the transition. And now let's put the crouching animation from the asset browser. Idle crouching. There you go. Let's connect it with the final animation post. And now we need to do the same thing as the aiming animation. We need to tell him that if you're not pressing the key then you need to go to another animation that's going to be idle or the walk animation but for that we need to tell him to get the, the variable person is crouching we're going to tell him that if it's not equal it has to be checked then he can enter into the transition he can play the animation now let's compile and let's hit play Okay, so we got the aiming, and let me press the control key. And something is wrong here. Yep, something is wrong. Okay. Uh, let me change the key. I, th I think I have to use them to do something on properties of the world settings. So let me change this to the key C change it. oh no no my bad we need to go to the event graph of our animation blueprint I forgot about that we need to add also the animation uh, the events over there okay blueprint animation blueprint we need to go to the event graph and right here where you cast it to the character to get the variables for the aiming of the character you also need to get the characters variable for crouching get crouching there we go and the same thing we need to tell him that on a variable of the blueprint for crouching we need to tell him if it's going to be equal or not to the crouching variable of our character now let's compile and now it's supposed to work let's hit the crouch control key and it's not working with the control key why not I think I still have to do something with the world properties there Okay, so let me go back to the blueprint and let me put the C key. That's it. Just quick. There we go. Let's press the C now. There we go. For some reason, we have to add for the control key. We need to add it on the options, our, uh, the settings of our project. The keys. Uh, project settings and where are the keys? The keys, the keys, the keys, the keys, map modes, uh, okay, inputs, there we go. Okay, on the inputs, we need to add mappings. So for this, let me add another one, it's gonna be 
crouching crouching let's say that's gonna be the control yeah control key is gonna be oh it's gonna be left okay I was pressing the wrong one yeah I was pressing the wrong one that was all it's gonna be left there we go we export put it right there on the input Overwrite it and let's go back to our third character here. Let me put it again. It's supposed to be left, I'm pressing the right. Up, oh, uh, reverse. Up, uh, put it the right, and I was pressing the left. Okay, so it has to be the left key. There we go. Left control key and compile. Well, if I then went there to the properties, I, I wouldn't have saw that. Okay. And there we go. Now it's working with the control key, the left control key, and also the aiming is working. So I think that's all for this tutorial. This is Andrew from PRDB Entertainment, guys. I uh, hope this will have new tutorial for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment on the box below. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like or the dislike and whatever you like. Bye, bye, guys.